Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea and today we're going to be doing our story and meditation um, with the theme of karma and also um, kind of the theme of kindness as well. And our story is Fly Free. So we'll start with this today. It was early morning and the sun had just risen around and red as a parasol. The earth under May's toes was cool, but the sun's first rays cast a warm golden glow on pagoda eaves. May looked for the familiar cage of sparrows for sale by the temple gates. The birds twittered with excitement, bobbing their comical heads like tiny puppets. May I feed them, she asked the vendor. Of course, he said, you seem to speak their language. As much as May loved to visit the birds, she hoped someone would pay for their release. This was the Buddhist way. To set an animal free was a good deed. She would have freed them herself, but the cost was more than her mother could spare. May eased small bowls of seed and water into the cage. Shh, 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 shh. May heard the sound of slippers nearby. They were red velvet and belonged to a girl named Tu. When Tu took them off, as was the custom before entering a temple, May could not help but stare. She had never seen such a beautiful pair of shoes. May waited for Tu, but the temple door, by the temple door, and smiled when she came out. The sparrows are hungry, said May. Would you like to help feed them? Tu nodded as May poured seed into her outstretched hand. Then May whispered softly, Fly free, fly free in the sky so blue. When you do a good deed, it will come back to you. On her way home that day, Tu noticed a girl sitting by the roadside, cradling her foot in her hands. She had been cut by a sharp piece of glass and the wound stung like an animal's bite. My friend, Tu called to the girl, please take these slippers. They'll help ease your pain. The girl looked up in disbelief. The shoes were the rich red color of pomegranates and the velvet was new and uncrushed. She put them on and nodded her thanks as two sang out. Fly free, fly free in the sky so blue. When you do a good deed, it will come back to you. The next morning, the girl's foot was much better. One of her daily chores was drawing water from a well at the edge of town. With her new shoes on, she easily shouldered two heavy buckets of cool spring water that slished and sloshed as she walked. On the way home, she passed Ong Hai, the ox cart driver, asleep in the shade of a banyan tree. He'll be thirsty when he wakes up, she thought. She quietly approached his cart, dipped her coconut shell into the cool, sweet water, and left it on the seat beside him. When Ong Hai woke up, his throat was parched. To his surprise, a cool drink awaited him, but who had been so kind? Looking down the lane behind him, a girl's song faded into the midday dust. Fly free, fly free in the sky so blue. When you do a good deed, it will come back to you. Later that day, Ong Hai saw an old woman hobble down the road, balancing a basket of cakes high atop her head. Do you need a ride to market? called Ong Hai. Yes, said the woman, but I have no money. Hop in, said Ong Hai. I'll trade a ride for one of your cakes. They look delicious. That they are, the woman replied. I made them myself from an old family recipe. Ong Hai savored the sweet coconut flavor during the ride to market. When he left the woman off, he whistled a cheerful tune. Fly free, fly free in the sky so blue. When you do a good deed, it will come back to you. At market, business was brisk and the woman soon sold out of cakes. She picked up her empty basket, bought a large sack of rice and returned home. The next morning, she awoke to find a lone monk passing her house with his alms bowl in hand. It was breakfast time, and this was the monk's way of asking for food. 
the woman rushed out to the road with a steaming bowl of rice. It's simple but filling, she said. The monk nodded his thanks, his orange robe streaming behind him like the sun's rays. As he walked off, a song drifted on the morning breeze. Fly free, fly free, in the sky so blue, when you do a good deed, it will come back to you. Touched by these words, the monk went to visit the home of a sick boy in the village. He treated the boy with acupuncture and chanted a river of words. The next day, the child had completely recovered. The happy father went to the temple to give his thanks. There, by the temple gates, he saw May tenderly feeding the sparrows, singing a familiar song. Fly free, fly free, in the sky so blue, when you do a good deed, it will come back to you. At once he understood how good deeds are passed from one person to the next. A wheel of kindness existed in people's hearts. It turned day and night through cities, villages, and countryside until it came back to its origin, making a full circle. Without hesitating, he gave the bird owner all the money he had with him. I'd like to free the sparrows, he said. The owner nodded at May. Her heart beat like the wings of a thousand birds in flight as she opened the cage door. In a moment, her friends were gone. And then May called out as loudly as she could, Fly free, fly free, in the sky so blue. And I bet you remember the last part of that. So here are our questions today about that story. Do you remember what the first act of kindness that May did? And what effect did it have? Do you remember what the chain of events in the story was? What happened after May did that? And what happened after that? And what happened after that? When we are kind to one another, do you think that acts of kindness affect only that person? How might it cause other good things to happen? Now those are all the questions that I have. So now let's get ready for a meditation. And because our story was fly free, I thought maybe we would do our meditation about something else that has wings. Last week we did a dragonfly meditation and this week it's a butterfly meditation. So get yourself settled in. If you want to lie down or if you're sitting up, make yourself comfortable. And we'll get started by listening to our chime. Close your eyes and take in a nice deep breath. Let the sights and sounds of this room fade away as you focus on your breathing and get ready to visualize a fun and relaxing adventure. Your body begins to feel deeply relaxed and sinks further where you are. Your arms and legs begin to feel very heavy. You patiently enjoy this time as your mind and body continue to relax. Now imagine you're a beautiful butterfly fluttering high in the sky. Below you, there is a lovely green valley with lots of colorful flowers just waiting for you to enjoy. You feel the wind gently blow against your delicate wings. As the wind touches you, it gently blows away any worries or any stress you feel. Your mind is clear and calm. You feel light as the wind itself, a cheerful butterfly gliding and fluttering anywhere you wish to go. Did you know that as a butterfly moves from flower to flower, it spreads just what the other plants need to thrive and grow? You are like that too. You can flutter about peacefully and beautifully, spreading kindness, happiness and goodness wherever you go. The sun touches your colorful body and warms you. 
The big puffy clouds floating in the sky remind you how relaxed and calm you can be whenever you want, just by thinking about it. It's so nice to be this light and airy. Your butterfly self has left any worries or fears behind. You love how it feels to beat your wings and fly, and any time you start to feel tired, you can land on a leaf or flower and rest. You spread your lovely wings in a huge stretch. You are completely peaceful and content as you allow your true happiness to shine through. It feels so good. Your body is calm and your mind is peaceful. You can fly around as long as you'd like, exploring or just floating gently on the wind. Take in a deep breath now and exhale slowly. When you're ready, give your body another big stretch. We're going to listen to our bell to come back. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes, come back to this room. Did you enjoy pretending to be a butterfly today? Keep that feeling with you as long as you can. And remember, you can always come back here or to any calming place just by using your mind. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.